Hi guys, you guys, the lighting in this my store, you get as it be, it's very blue. <laughs> it looks weird. So yeah, I'm in my store now and I'm trying to check to see if there's anything I need to buy because I'm going out now. I'm going to the supermarket, but I'm going to the supermarket mostly to buy fruits. Um, I usually buy fruits from supermarkets, but if I don't go to the supermarket, I'll go to fruit garden. But I'm going to get fruits, then I'm also pick one or two things that we need, but I don't really need to buy much because after I restocked the last time, like almost everything is still you know, full, all these um, things that are missing here, they're inside the kitchen, because we have a cabinet in the kitchen, uh, but almost everything is still, you know, here, because all the things I bought that time, I bought for like three months, three months worth of things, okay, um, even though some things are going to finish before that three months, but, you know, at least we still have a lot of things left. This is supposed to be for Gary, I don't buy too much Gary at once, that's why it's this quantity here, but I think I have some here. This is Ijebu Gary, um, this is flour. But this is normal yellow gari, so I don't buy much at once because my husband does not eat gari, he eats pound dough while my kids eat gari. I, mean, I don't really care, I eat anyone, but I don't buy much at once because I I like buying fresh gari. <laughs> Same thing with beans, I don't buy much beans at once, I just buy, you know, small, small quantities and I always buy beans from supermarkets. That is especially the beans that we cook to eat like raw beans, right? But when it comes to beans for moi moi or akara, I don't mind buying from the market because we're still going to wash it thoroughly, we're still going to remove, you know, the bark and the peels and everything. So I don't mind buying that kind of... But anyway, sometimes I don't even care. I just buy the one I see in the supermarket and be going because the ones in the supermarket are usually very neat and always picked and like from the pack, you can see the beans very well. So you know that you should buy it or not. But anyway, um, we still have lots of indomie left. Um, because noodles is not something that we eat that much, but I always like to have noodles because when I don't want to think too much, noodles to the rescue. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really need to buy much here. Like I've not even seen anything I need to buy. Maybe just Gary. That's market. Um, I don't really, I've not really seen much that I need to buy because I'm going out now. Okay. Okay, this is laundry. I'm actually a laundry woman. <laughs> but, laundry woman. So this is where we have all our cleaning products and we still have almost everything. I don't even use much, but this area, ha, this area is only reduced. So this area was one pack I bought, and this is two left. Um, but this is where we have almost everything. I don't even want to look at this place too much because I don't understand what's going on here. Please let's just close the bag. <laughs> you did laugh. I don't understand what's going on there. Up here is where we have the ones that we're using at the moment. So soap is here. Look at this place. Here. People cannot even manage and straighten it at least. So, uh, washing soap is here, cleaning soap, that's what for cleaning the ground is in here and hypo, baking soda, white vinegar, this is starch, that's sanitizer, bar soap, you know, yeah. Mm, I don't know. So, when I posted my pantry video on Instagram and on um, TikTok, right? I got a lot of questions about, not even just questions, questions, comments about, oh, rats no deal in our house, people don't have rats in your house, like, ha, ah, rats don't live in this house, you know, how you put dealing with rats, how are you dealing with rats and cockroaches, because the way I did my pantry, the way I stocked up, I put some things in baskets, like my cereal, milk, milk, all those things, and they're in refill packs, they're all in baskets, open, you know, so many things in my pantry is actually open. So my indomies are indomies there, they're just in the carton like that. And people kept asking about the rat situation. And initially, when people were asking me about that rat thing, I was like, ah, must everybody's house have rats? Like, I thought not everybody's house has rats. <laughs> That's number one. And then number two, I'm like, are people just comfortable living with rats that they now adjust their lifestyle because of rats? Like, you will now decide not to arrange things the way you want to arrange it because you have rats in your house. Like, who owns the house? Are the rats your house guests? Yes, can I help you? Your maid should be. You will be rats and house guest. Who is your maid there? Your maid. Are you my maid? Yes. <laughs> no, sir, you're not my maid, please. In the, in the next six years, I'll that's, be, I'll that's be that's like you. That's for yourself. So, who older than you, sir? You know, actually, that's actually worse for me. Uh -huh. You are supposed to be you know, active and agile, running. Come on, say hi to my vlog people. Somebody woke up this morning, and their problem is that I did not exercise. No, you are not exercising. Not just that you did not, you are not exercising. So it's a present continuous. 
issue. You know people say that we look alike. Can you see it? Put your head on this side. Do we look alike? I can see it. Well, it's just because now. we have the same complexion. Oh well, I'm darker. Mm. I'm fine yeah, no, for a guy. You're not darker. It's just your face that is darker. You do this at your friends. <laughs> I thought you were to come and yab me. I was already ready. I was ready to receive yabbing this morning. Anyway, I'll start exercising very soon. So, as I was saying, Jerry, and uh, maybe where are you going to? Hey, baby, go and tell something first. Let me tell you something. Off camera, just. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I was talking about something important. Why are you happy with yourself this morning? I don't even understand. When you exercise, you are happy, right? You know, you have blood flowing through your, your brains. You know, it increases, you know, dopamine, right? You know? And that makes you happy. Mm. Yes. That's why you exercise. It's not just only for your health, but it's also for your mental well-being. Mm -hmm. So that you don't just sit down and just start having different mood sweets. Mm. Start um, you know, disturbing people that are... <laughs> mm? Who is having different mood swings? You. I don't have different mood swings. You. So, for people like us, happy, or normal. Those are the two. Normal, think of nothing. It is a state of nothingness. Mm. You know? I don't know what that means. Though. I have never had a state of nothingness. Like, it's not even possible. Please, you guys should let me know whether this thing is just a woman and man thing or is it me and my husband thing. Have you ever had a state of nothingness? You're just on your own. You're not thinking of anything. You're not bothered about anything. You're just you're not even, not even bothered. You're not thinking of anything. It doesn't even have to be a bothering talk, I'll be what's the word. But that's... I don't understand, though. Yep. Most of the time I ask my husband, what are you thinking about? He'll say nothing. I don't get it. How can somebody be thinking of nothing? There's no way my, my brain does not shut down. Though. Not like my brain just not thinking. That's why I shut circuits most of the time. And that's why you shout a lot. Because you overstress your brain. And you don't even feed it with enough oxygen, so your brain basically will just shut down. And the only way you react in a short time is either you start shouting, you start having headaches, or you will just go asleep. Right. You, don't, you, you refuse to sleep. <laughs> and at the end of the day, you start having more headaches. So that's a problem. You overstress your brain. Exercise. Think of nothingness. Just relax. And think of nothing. A blissful state. Because how do you go times you've been disturbing your brain? What has come out of it? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> the disturbing of my mm. brain is enough for me. <laughs> what has come out of it? Like, Plenty things now. Like what? It's not disturbing of brain, it's just thinking. When you are thinking. So what are you thinking about? Ah, all the things I've been doing now. Like what? I don't know. So that's the point. You don't know. But you are just disturbing the brain. If you want, if you have something to do, then you tax the brain to do it. Once it's done, let the brain relax. Simple. Do you always move your hand? Move your hand, move your hand. Maybe you don't have something to do, the hands rest. Same thing with your legs. Same thing with your eyes, your nose, your mouth, and everything. So same thing with the brain. It needs a state of nothingness. A state where it can recuperate, right? <sighs> As you mean, it was maybe you are giving the brain tax, you know, to develop it, to help it to grow, and that's a different ball game. But this one, you are just giving it stress, you know, overloading it with multiple information that are not coherent, and so basically, at the end of the day, it just short circuit. That's your problem. So, come to the state of nothingness and enjoy the blissful thinking of nothing. Thank you. <laughs> if we just see what I used to do with on a daily basis, so they will not be telling me, your husband looks very quiet. Your husband is very quiet. It's not quiet shit. 
He's not quiet shit. He's only quiet with people that he does not know. When it comes to me, on my yawasi on no. He has even got safe. Anyway, I don't even know. This I'm trying to stand my camera somewhere. What was I even saying? I was, talk I was talking about rats before. Oga came. Yeah, so when I s when I hear people talk about rats, like it's a normal thing that you should have in your house, I'm like, how will I have a house and have a house guest? Like I can't tolerate rats, okay? And it's not even a today thing. I hate when I say I hate rats, I hate rats. I hate rats so much that if I enter a place that has rats, I can smell it. Okay? I'm very sensitive to smells anyway, but if I enter a place that has rats, that has cockroaches, those two things. I hate rats and cockroaches. I hate insects in general. I hate animals. Let me not even be, be specific. I hate animals in general. The, ones, the only animal I could tolerate was a parrot. You know, I can tolerate birds. But not all birds, though, just a few birds. And I actually like parrots because, you know, they are cute and all of that, right? But even as they are cute, self, it's not like I would like them and can't touching them. I've never, I've never held my parrots before or anything. <laughs> So I hate animals, don't talk of pests, don't talk of disgusting pets that pests that carry diseases. So if I enter a place and there is cockroach or rats in that place, I would know immediately, instanta, like I smell it from, in fact, from, from the entrance, I would smell it. So anyway, how did I, when I came to this house, I actually had rats at some point and I was always miserable there. Like I entered the kitchen, right in my kitchen, I enter my kitchen and I'm like, this kitchen smells like rats. I can smell rats. Don't know, be doing, mm, people in my house will be doing, ah, we can't smell it. I'm like, can't I could not smell it? Like, there's a distinct smell that rats has, or a place that rats stays. There's a distinct smell that that place has. I don't know if I have PTSD from whatever, I don't know. But there's a distinct smell that rats has. And then I'll my kitchen, then I'll be like, this kitchen is smelling of rats. People will be doing, I don't know, we don't know. Anyway, eventually, when I was now redoing my kitchen, as they removed all the cabinets, you guys, if you, you, that video is there, like, check Kitchen Transformation at this space, just Google it, you'll see it. Because I know I'm not about to put it in the description box. I always say, I'll put it in the description box, then I'll not see comments, where is it? And I'll be like, oh my god, I forgot. So, just Google at this space, Kitchen Transformation, right? When they removed the cabinets, <laughs> what was on that day? And mind you, when we came into this house, it was the cabinets that were here. You know, that smell was even here when we moved in, okay? So, I did not rest. So, anyway, eventually, we got people to remove the cabinets, to put new cabinets, and also the hole that the rats was entering from. So, the first thing you need to do when it comes to dealing with rats is to block every hole in your house. No hole in your house should be left unblocked. I don't care if it is from windows, you should have nets in, on your windows, like strong good nets you should always have nets on your windows i don't care where you live whether you live in america you live in uh, whatever well i don't know about abroad they might not have to deal with mosquitoes and you know insects but i don't know how to stay in a house without nets so like always have nets on your windows always make sure your nets are closed because sometimes when you open your windows if you're not careful if you're someone that is you know always absent-minded or is a child that opens it they can leave the nets open and that is where rats coming from especially the windows that are downstairs okay if you live in a high-rise building maybe not but whether i live you know on Burj khalifa last last floor okay whether that's where i live or i live in a bungalow i will always make sure that all my windows and nets are closed at all times closed properly like even if i don't close the nest properly then i must close the window itself right then go around your house and look for holes there are so many holes in houses that people don't people are not aware of or don't care about okay so you might see a little hole maybe a pipe where the where a pipe passed before and they blocked the pipe or they're no longer using the pipe you know where let's say now they drill hole for the hose of your gas cooker and they drill a very big hole and you have a small hose right that means that hole around the hose, rats can pass through. And don't look at holes and think they're too small for rats to pass through. <laughs> rats can pass through even the tiniest holes, right? And even if it's not the big rats, the babies can pass through the tiny holes and then grow in your house. So no matter how small a hole is, make sure you cover it. Like around the holes, all the places in the back of the kitchen, all those plumbing and stuff, we made sure that it was sealed properly. Okay? Now, another hole that people might not know about is... Um, AC hole, maybe you had an AC in a particular space before and you remove the AC or you know Whatever the case may be there might be a hole there. Make sure you block it So basically just go around your house. That's the first thing to so block the holes that the rats enter from okay 
Next thing to do is to set traps for the rats, okay? Put rat poison, put rat... I hate rat poison, Sha, because sometimes you put rat poison, the rats will now go somewhere and die, and you can't really figure out where they died, and that place will smell, 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 and eventually you stop smelling it or your nose gets used to the smell. So, I don't really like rat poison, but, you know, once once you've blocked the hole and you know that there's still rats inside your house, you don't have a choice, except you can literally go and look for all the rats one by one, and it's not really possible. So, make sure you have you know, rat poison, um, they have very good ones that, you know, kill the rats very well, like, overnight, you will see dead rats up and down. Then, then, because we had cameras, I used to check the cameras in the middle of the night. My cameras are, um, motion sensitive, right? So, I don't have to watch the whole footage all night. I'll just jump to the places where there was movement, and surely, but, I was in the record the word, something but surely, I would always catch rats on the camera. And when I'll catch the rat on the camera, I'll be so mad. <laughs> I'll be so mad. The next day, I can put more. If I see where they used to pass from, I can put more rat poison there. So make sure you put rat, po rat poison in your house. And then, you know, the rat poison will get rid of the rats that are inside the house. Okay. While you still make sure the holes are blocked so that you prevent the ones from outside coming in. Because there are usually rats outside. Like in this compound, we actually have rats outside. In fact, I saw one rat one day. I was like, is this in a rat or is it a... Rabbits, or is it a grass cutter, or is it a goat? I don't know what that was, but all I know is that it was big. <laughs> it was so big, I was like, hey, see better means for some people. Anyway, so we have rats in the compound because obviously you can't you can get rid of the rats in your house, but your neighbor you don't know how they live, you don't know what they do. So rats come from everywhere. So just make sure that your house is secure. And another thing is make sure that your doors are closed. Especially if you have kitchen door, backyard door, all those kind of doors. Make sure they are always closed. We will even put nets on the door as well. So make sure they are always closed. If you can do those snapping nets, those nets that when you open the door, they snap back, they spring back. If you can do that one, fine. Or if you can't do that one, you can do the zip nets that has magnets. No, not zip. Magnet nets. That's the type that we have. It's just, it's just magnets back. Anyway, you guys get it. Um, yeah, so always plug your holes. Always put rat poison, that's in, at least for that time being, when you're trying to get rid of rats, put enough rat poison to make sure you kill all the rats in your house. And then the next thing, mind you, all the things I'm saying actually work for cockroaches as well, because cockroaches enter the house through holes as well. It's just that cockroaches are a little bit more tricky to deal with because they can pass very, very, very tiny holes. They can even come from the sewage, they can come from the toilet, you know. So, but make sure you cover all the holes in your house. Then, when you're putting rat poison, also put cockroach poison. There's this green leaf thing that kills cockroaches and ants and stuff like that. So, you know, put it as well. Now, when you have done this consecutively for like two or three, you do it consecutively, not just once, so because some rats might miss the poison. So, do it like three or four times. When you are now sure that, you know, you've gotten rid of all the rats in your house, do thorough cleaning. You can do thorough cleaning even before you put the rat poison or after. Either ways, make sure you do thorough cleaning of your house and by thorough cleaning i mean with bleach okay or with very strong chemicals that can actually remove the smell of the rats because those rats have smells as in the rats can smell their home right here so if you don't clean their home very well and make it very very clean if possible pour chemical in that place clean that place very well paint that place if you want like you have to remove you have to get rid of that rat smell because if you don't get rid of that rat smell even from the next compound, they will smell their way back into your house, right? So you have to get rid of that rat smell, clean your house very, very well. Deep cleaning, if you need to get people to do it for you, fine. If you can do it yourself, do it, but you have to clean your house, deep cleaning. Put enough bleach in water and clean your house well. Then spray those, once you have finished cleaning the house, spray those areas with insecticide, okay? Now, after you've done insecticide, that's to get rid of cockroaches as well. And ants. After you finish spraying that place with insecticide, then you can now spray that place with, um, you know, um, room spray or refreshing spray or whatever it is. Air freshener, you can do that. You can also put camphor. But me, I don't like doing camphor now because of my kids. I don't want to hear stories. I know camphor sometimes can be very nice looking. So, I still have camphor in some places in my house. Like this is my office toilet now. I have camphor there. But it's not even because of cockroaches. The place was the place had a damp smell at some point. So when you have, when you are done cleaning the place properly, properly and spraying the place, yeah. Another thing you could do is to fumigate. Yes, you can fumigate your house. Um, people that fumigate houses, they they have the ones they do that get rid of rats, cockroaches, and all of that. Okay, so fumigate your house 
once in a while. You can do it once a year. You can do it twice a year. I don't know. I mean, I've only done it once since we lived in this house. No, done it twice. The first time we moved in and then last year, right? So, but just try and fumigate your house from time to time. Um, just you leave the house for like two days. Those food, that fumigation actually helps to get rid of, you know, rats that can be in your roof because yeah, rats live in the roof. Okay, rats that can be in your roof. Rats that can be in, you know, very um, difficult to access corners. Fumigation is going to deal with them. Okay. Um, uh, yes, and actually I remember that we used to have rats in our roof then I had to now check for holes like I was doing a very serious job then I had to check for I had to check for holes and now I realized that there was a hole through Electricals, okay, where we have our electricals there was a hole that rats were passing through to enter the roof and come out I blocked the hole after I blocked the hole. I didn't hear anything about rats again. I don't know whether they died in the roof or They most likely died there or maybe even when I blocked the hole the rat was not inside there either ways We've not had a rat episode since then, and this is like two or three years ago, right? Um, what else? Yeah, so same thing for cockroaches, the fumigation gets rid of cockroaches. Um, make sure your 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 septic tank, your suck away, make sure it is cleared. If you have um if you are living in, in your own house or you're living in a in a standalone house, or you know, if you're in a place where you can control your suck away as your septic tank, then please do. But if you are living in a tenant like a block of flats or whatever. Then tell your co-tenant or tell your landlord, anybody who, who can deal with it, you go and make sure, make sure they clear your septic tank because that is one place that cockroaches come from. Now, when they clear septic tank, they usually pour chemical inside the septic tank. And that chemical, you'll smell it for a few days. So I think some people say they pour kerosene. What some people say, I don't know. I think it's kerosene they pour. Maybe they, it's that fumigation thing. But it smells like kerosene anyway. So they pour it inside the septic tank. And for a few days, when you flush or when you enter your toilet, you'll be smelling it. Then it will go after that you're going to see cockroaches in your house and you know the funny thing i remember when i was saying this even my assistant was saying that that is true that she, she started coming here she has never seen cockroach not, not like she was even surprised i've never even seen even cockroach i was like yeah and funny enough it's it didn't even occur to me that it's a big deal you know i'm still dealing with ants so whenever i see ants, i'm so angry forgetting that there are worse things i could be dealing with you know um yeah even the ants it's not like I, I deal with ants that often it's just in specific places that i deal with ants and it's usually in the kitchen and it's because Sometimes they will, they will pour milk. You know how you take scoop milk to pour in your plate? Some particles will not now drop. They won't clean that place. And I'm like, are you leaving it for... Are you trying to feed the ants? Are you trying to... What, what's the point, you know? So, anyway, um, yeah, always, always try to get rid of all those things because for me, those things carry diseases. Those things destroy your property. Why do you want to just be normal living with rats in your house? It doesn't make sense to me. Now, another thing that works for us as well and this one works for you know dealing with ants cockroaches insects in general is we clean our house daily so we have a cleaner that comes to the house and cleans the house every single morning she comes by six o'clock six a.m she cleans the house in fact before i wake up from sleep most times she has cleaned and gone okay so when she comes she will just you know a little to open door or someone will open door or anybody that is awake will open the door for her she will come in she will go around and clean the whole house not she doesn't clean specific areas she doesn't clean rooms she doesn't clean um she doesn't wash she just cleans she just cleans every other place except the rooms and the bathroom she doesn't clean bathrooms but she just cleans the guest toilet and you know the rest of the house parlor staircase all those kind of places right and even the kitchen she cleans it so because she cleans the house every single day we don't really have particles laying around for uh, rats or ants to to come and you know that attracts rats or ants or cockroaches we don't really have particles like that that's one thing i enjoy about you know having her clean daily and the thing with it the thing with cleaning daily is that you don't have to even be cleaning perfectly each time because you're going to come again tomorrow morning so over time the house is always sparkling because she's always cleaning it and that, again like i said you don't have to do deep clean every time you come sometimes she comes and clean the house and i'm like hmm sister how you reach here at 6 o'clock? Before 7, you don't clean, finish. Mm, which kind of international cleaning you they clean? <laughs> you know? But even as I, I think that, I'm like, well, as long as it's coming every day, except Sundays. If it's coming every day, then it's, it's fine. You know, but aside the cleaning that she does, we still clean the house ourselves. Like, we clean our rooms ourselves. Uh, clean our, wash our bathrooms um, once or twice a week. Basically, just clean your house proper, properly, okay? Clean your house properly. Get rid of clutter. This video is now very long or more get rid of clutter you don't need clutter in your house okay it's not even about you know being minimalistic or doing minimalist design eh -eh. you don't need clutter in your house because once you have clutter you are inviting rats you're inviting pests you're giving them where to stay because they dwell in clutter so 
do not have clutter in your house. All those places that usually, because I mean, you can't do without having some sort of clutter. Let me not come and be a hypocrite. Like under my staircase now, I'm seeing clutter there. Oh, small, small. Okay. Um, yeah. So go to have specific areas for your clutter. So we have specific areas for our clutter. We have the boys' quarters. Then we have that my laundry room. Don't the clutter. But anyway, we have the boys' quarter, and then we have the um under my staircase where we store things those are the places that i'll say we really have clutter from time to time go through that place clear some things clean some things clean the area spray it and then put things back okay so that's what we do from time to time we declutter our things i'm sure in the last two years i think we've done it like four times like we do it a lot my husband too we do it a lot because i don't even know how we keep getting things and there's some things that you you kept the last time thinking at some point i'm going to use it and you now see that okay I did not use it that time. I'm, not, I'm, I'm most likely not going to use it now. Then you get rid of them, okay? So get rid of clutter. Don't just wait and be, you know, hoping for one day. You're just, you're just leaving house. You're just leaving house for rats, okay? You're just preparing guest room for rats, right? And, you know, yeah, so cleaning, cleaning very well, removing, get rid of, get, getting rid of clutter, arranging your things well, cleaning individual things well. Um, I actually don't like a dirty environment. I can actually stand a scattered environment, which is funny. I don't like scattered environment, too, but I would rather have a scattered environment that is clean than have a dirty environment that is arranged, okay? You know, just make sure that things are clean at least. You know, clean, clean, clean. Make your house bright, basically, okay? You know, paint bright colors, put in enough lights, open windows, air your house. You know, these are the things that... Will keep your house smelling fresh and just remaining fresh you just have to dust because if you open windows too much dust will come in you know, you know just have to even if you don't put windows up you still have dust in your house so you just dust from time to time but let your house be clean but at the first sign of any rat like you now you've done all these things and you've lived in peace and harmony for like three months and then one day again you start smelling rats or you start seeing uh, rats droppings or whatever then repeat the process, okay? Don't allow it first time because it's when you, you see one rat and like, ah, we have rats in this house, so and you're quiet. You don't know that a, a whole, I don't know what they call it, is it colony now or what? I don't know. A whole family of rats are about to spring up. A whole, a whole city of rats are about to spring up, spring up in your house. You don't know if the rat you saw is a pregnant rat. You don't know. You don't know whether the rat you saw is the mother and the children are somewhere. You don't know whether it's the father and the wife and children are somewhere. So... Any sign of rats you see, I remember then, I, I know, I know rat shit now. Any sign of rat shit, even gecko shit, because I we still have gecko in this house as well. Any sign I see like this, I start doing it all, all over. But anyway, so because of it, I'm not scared of even keeping food. I, like, if, if my kids now eat biscuit and drop it, you come back the next day, you see it. Like, even, so even when you drop, like, actual, like, let's say that they drop biscuit on the floor. The worst case... Worst case, when you come the next day, what you will see is sugar ants. Those extremely tiny ants. Those ones that you can just use hand and just do like this. That like that's the only ants you see in this house. We don't have all those bigger ants, fire ants, um, the bigger ones that have big bomb bomb. We don't have those kind of ants in this house. Um, you know, we also take care of the compound as well. That's another thing I to say. Also take care of your compound. Don't just neglect your compound and say ah. It's just inside my house because they're coming from outside again. But like I said before, we still have a rat outside. My mom has told me to just put poison for the rat, but I'm like, I don't really care. It's not really disturbing me. But I think I need to do that, okay? Um, but because we take care of the compound, we don't really have that many rats. It's just that, you know, as long as your compound is open, rats will come from anywhere. It can come from your neighbor's place. Anyway, I have talked a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was a very straightforward video <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this video that's it that's how i deal with rats and ants and pests in my house and that's why i'm able to just arrange things the way i want to arrange things okay um let me know if you guys have any any more tips or tricks or suggestions or you know questions about dealing with rats cockroaches pests um dust dirt all those things and let me know Obviously, not everybody can afford to clean their house every day. It's not even because of how much they will have to pay. But you can't afford to have somebody come into your house every day. You can't afford to, you know, clean your house yourself every day. Whatever the case may be, you don't have to do that every day. But just try as much as possible to keep your house as clean as you can make it. Okay? Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>